Hey guys! After talking about density in my last video, I think I came to realize why I've been ruining all of my paintings using black lately. Now you guys don't know this because I don't show my ruined paintings, but I think I've just been using too much black in my paintings and they keep taking over the whole thing. So to sort of try and test this whole density thing today, I'm going to be using both white and black both on each side of the canvas with three other colors and I'm going to try and pour more white and less black and see how that changes through time. Alright, so if you want to take part in this experiment, here I go. Alright, so I'm feeling kind of girly today. Don't ask why, I don't know. So I will be using uh, peony pink Coral Bush, which is a color that uh, I used recently and I really, really love it. And the other one is Red Violet. So I'm working on a 16 by uh, 20 canvas. Just going to mix this up a bit and here I go. That consistency seems perfect. So since I'm going to be using less black, I'm going to pour my colors first. Now I've added two, three drops of pouring medium to all my colors. Except for the white, I added a little, maybe two times that, so maybe six or seven drops to the white. I'm just going to use a teeny bit. Now I know that the white usually always gets lost in my painting, so it's better to put more. Now, logically, it would be better to test this theory using all of the same brand because, well, because every brand reacts differently, but I'm just so used to this white and this black now. I uh, intend on trying different brands, but they don't have all the, the brands that I want here. Oh man, that color is so hot. I'm pouring gently. I just, just, just prepared my paints like three minutes before starting the camera and I still have to add some water. The Americana brand, it, it seems like it thickens up really, really fast. You always got to check your paint before you pour. Now this is a very earthy color, so there's a chance that it might be more dense. Or least dense. I think I'm making a mistake there. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I spoke too fast. I've got the shakes, people. I had like three coffees today. <laughs> oh, 
to the thick. I usually speed up this part, but I just wanted to really show you guys how I pour, like so you can see the quantities. Now this is all an experiment, as usual. Oh, wow. I've been wanting to try out this color for a long time. It's so pretty. All right, one more. Those circles are so perfect. Let's hope it ends well. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm not gonna put my finger through like I promised. Like I said in the last one. All right, so I have no idea how I'm going to do this so that the white stays on one side and the black stays on the other. It just, it probably is not going to happen. So I will go on this side first. Or I'll try and, and position it. Wow. Well, these are officially my painting leggings. All right, so that looks pretty uh, centered on the camera. I'm gonna do like in my last video, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave and leave the camera on and uh, see how much it changes, okay? Let you guys see that. All right. I'm really liking how, like the white is on one side and the black is on one side. I think I, I moved it around, I did it good. And I'm pretty sure that coral bush there will not sell a lot. Those earthy colors tend to sell less. All right, so I will be back, guys. All right, guys, so screw the time lapse on this one because uh, it's just not going to change more than this. It's been about 10 minutes, and usually when nothing happens, well, nothing happens. I'm thinking it's because I didn't put my finger through though. Like there was a reason that I had started doing that finger through thing and it was to get more effects. So um, that said, I'm finding it really cool still though. I like the fact that for once I have a lot of blank space and there's some action in the middle here and you know how it's kind of black and white. Um, I use a lot of white so obviously it's still all there for now. Maybe if I would have put my finger through and like more cells would have happened, then we could have maybe seen the difference, but whatever. And I only used a little bit of black and the black isn't taking over. So what I'm gonna do, just for fun, because I just need more action, is I'm just gonna spray a little bit of diluted dish soap here, just on that side in the corner, and that is it. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna try and block it off here I'm sorry it's like the opposite of the camera there but I'm just gonna block it here spray another little one and 
and that's it. I don't want too much action going on. So I'm just going to turn the camera around to show you guys exactly what this looks like right now, okay? Guys, so this is the whole deal. Now, there was a reason that I had started putting my finger through, I remember. It was because um, it would help me get more effects. And I haven't not put my finger through in so long. And I have to admit, I'm really liking all the blank space. So different from my usual. But it doesn't really test my theory that I was talking about at the beginning. Which kind of sucks. But I'm still really liking it. You can see where I put that diluted dish up there. And just a little bit of cell action in the middle. Not too much for a change. So cool. So I will try this again with the black and the white, but I will put my finger through. So that way I'll know if uh, the black really takes over and the white really like seeps in. Maybe it's also because I didn't move my paint the same way that I usually do, but I kind of did. So anywho, it's always an experiment, right? Hope you guys like this. Bye. So I am outside on this beautiful day to show you the result of this dried painting and I'm really liking it. Blank space canvas. No finger through. Alright, hope you guys like this. Bye.